All right, I know. Another video on metric modulation. Not like there aren't already enough on the internet, but I think I have a neat and simple way to think about it. What if I said you just need to reframe the way you conceptualize triplets in order to modulate into pulses that are related to your main pulse? either 50% faster than your base pulse or 25% slower than your base pulse. For example, if we're starting at 100 beats per minute, we can use triplets either to get us to 150 beats per minute or 75 beats per minute. Let me show you how. So continuing the theme of my last video on polyrhythms, I wanna show you how to use triplets as a gateway to understanding metric modulation to 3 over 4 and to 6 over 4. And like I said before, these ratios are related to our base pulse of 100 beats per minute. 6 over 4 is one and a half times as fast, so we'll be going to 150 beats per minute. And 3 over 4 is 25% slower, or 3 fourths as fast as our main pulse of 100 beats per minute, so we'll be modulating to 75 beats per minute. So real quick, let's just define what a metric modulation is. In music, metric modulation is a change in tempo and or pulse grouping, which is derived from a note value or grouping heard before the change. So in this case, that note value is gonna be triplets. To do this, you should already be able to play steady triplets over a groove with your right hand and also have a basic understanding of how polyrhythms work and what they are. If you need to, pause this video real quick and go watch my last video explaining that called Polyrhythms vs. Polymeters, an introduction to real polyrhythmic theory before you start this. So to start, let me show you what it sounds like to play a groove at 100 beats per minute then modulate to 150 beats per minute using triplets as our gateway to get there. I'll start with a basic groove by playing eighth notes on the ride cymbal, then switch it to triplets, then the triplets are gonna become eighth notes in the new pulse of 150 beats per minute, then I'll switch back to conceptualizing them as triplets at 100 beats per minute and return to the basic groove I started off playing. Here's what that sounds like. All right, now what if we do the same thing, but conceptualize those triplets as 16th notes in three over four? So let's break this down into five steps and talk about what it takes to execute this. Step one, have a basic understanding of polyrhythms, what they are and how they work. Like I said, if you need to check out my last video for more information on that, go ahead. And you can also check out Pete Magadini's books, Polyrhythms, A Musician's Guide and Polyrhythms for the Drum Set at the links below in the video description. Step two. Step two is a little tricky. We need to be able to play and subdivide triplets and 16th notes at the same time with different limbs. Stay tuned for my next video, which will have some exercises on how to do that and how to gain that new skill. The reason we need to be able to do this is because I believe it'll help the transition to the new tempo. If you're playing a groove that has some 16th note patterns between the snare and kick drum, if you can play a triplet and 16th note grid at the same time with different limbs, you don't have to switch up your main groove at all. Step number three, 
we're gonna reconceptualize our triplets as either one and two and three and four and five and six and if we're modulating to six over four or 150 BPM and if we're modulating to 75 BPM or three over four we're gonna reconceptualize our triplets as one E and a two E and a three E and a. Now, of course, you don't need to play in six four or three four. You can make those both sound like four four. But if you want to keep track of how they line up with your original pulse, the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is to count in six four or three four. So once we've reconceptualized our right hand, we can then just go ahead and play the main groove in either of our new tempos. Of course, if you want, you don't have to play the same groove. You can play something different, but your right hand anchors that new pulse. Step four. Step four, we just reconceptualize our eighth notes or 16th notes back to triplets. And lastly, step five, we just switch back to eighth notes and finish by playing the groove we started off with. So that's it. Let me know if this simplified the concept of metric modulation for you. Let me know if it sparked any new ideas in your playing. And if you have any suggestions of any other topics you'd like me to cover, please feel free to let me know in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.